This was speculation earlier, but news has just broke. RFK just did some things that might make the political world stand still. All right? Like I said, it went from speculation to now in the process of materialization. Let's check it out. RFK Jr.'s running mate, Nicole Shanahan, says that their independent presidential campaign is weighing its options this way. Watch. There's two options that we're looking at, and one is staying in, forming that new party, but we run the risk of a Kamala Harris, uh, Kamala Harris and, and Walt's uh, presidency, or we walk away right now and join forces with with Donald Trump. Shanahan said that they're concerned about taking more votes away from Trump and Vance than from Harris and Walls. Trump was asked about a potential RFK Jr. endorsement and whether he would consider offering Kennedy a spot in his administration if he wins in November. This is what he told our Kristen Holmes. I like him a lot. I respect him a lot. Uh, I probably would if uh, something like that would happen. Uh, he's uh, a very different kind of a guy, very smart guy. And yeah, I would be honored by that endorsement. <clears throat> honored by that endorsement. Uh, Alex, I mean, they seem to say the quiet part out loud here, at least Nicole Shanahan did. Like, well, we're concerned there's a risk that we might actually elect Harris and Walls, uh, which, you know, I, I interviewed uh, RFK Jr. And he the concern from his family was is that he was going to get Donald Trump elected by doing this. Uh, and he's been trying to insist, no, no, it's really about me. It's about the fact that I should be a president. But uh, how do you think? I mean, he's, he's also clearly playing both sides here. He's gone to the Harris team as well behind the scenes. The Harris team has not responded. Uh, publicly what's he playing at and and what impact does it have i mean i think he's playing at staying relevant after this election and the way you do that is you get a job in the next administration which is why he was trying to meet with both say, sides now, kamala harris his team has made clear no we don't want want this and trump has been quietly and behind the scenes trying to court rfk jr for over a month now and even like the the team even sort of courting him for a bit and if he does drop out and endorse donald trump you know that is not a huge portion of the vote, but it's it's part of it, and it could actually make a difference. And in some ways, this could be... And it does make a difference. Uh, if you are not subscribed to Black Light Revelations 1, take a moment and subscribe to that channel. We did a live stream earlier where we looked at the shifting risk and statistics that are taking place right now on poly market in regards to the RFK political movement and his changing of positions possibly dropping out of the race, possibly endorsing Trump. What that's done is that it's caused Harris to fall in ranking on poly market and caused Trump to rise in ranking on poly market. So these effects do carry over. Be the Democratic Party almost doing too good of a job against RFK Jr., where they no longer see a path. All right, so there's that. All right, so now next what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at an article from MSNBC, all right? And this article from MSNBC, for the most part, literally confirms the speculation that we were just discussing in that last video where, you know, CNN, <laughs> CNN news anchors were all upset. You know what I'm saying? RFK Jr. plans to end presidential campaign and will endorse Trump over Harris. So no longer can uh, YouTube... Uh, embed messages implying that content is mis or disinformation when it's presented right here in the mainstream media, which why the mainstream media is a gauge for reality is beyond me anyway. But however, in this instance, it's consistent. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. plans to drop out of the 2024 presidential race and endorse former President Donald Trump, NBC News reports. His decision leaves Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris as the only candidates winning more than 1% of voters. Kennedy never approached the level of support amassed by the Republican Democratic nominees. Still, polls showed that his campaign was one of the most popular independent runs in decades. All right. Robert F. Kennedy plans to drop out of the presidential race on Friday and endorse Republican nominee Donald Trump. NBC News reported Wednesday, citing two sources familiar with the independent candidate's plan. 
Kennedy's withdrawal from the race would end a long shot bid that nonetheless threatened to upend the major party contest between Trump and his Democratic rival, Vice President Kamala Harris. The Kennedy and Trump campaigns are working on organizing a joint appearance, one of NBC's sources said. Both Trump and Kennedy have events scheduled in Phoenix, Arizona on Friday. Kennedy's campaign has billed his event set for 2 p.m. Eastern time as an address about the present historical moment and his path forward. Now, and this is interesting. I wonder what you, what is he going to announce? What do you guys think that he's going to announce? Kennedy, who is 70, ran an unorthodox campaign that at times seemed to be simultaneously driven and bogged down by his contrarian views and controversies on a range of hot button issues. While he never approached the level of support amassed by the Republican and Democratic nominees, polls of the presidential race showed Kennedy making one of the strongest third party showings in decades. In a presidential map where victory can hinge on swaying slim margins of on the fence voters in a handful of swing states, Kennedy's appearance on 19 states ballots could have had a decisive impact. In turn, Kennedy took flack away from both parties who accused him of essentially running a spoiler campaign that would siphon votes away from their preferred candidate. For that, for their part, Kennedy campaign officials repeatedly expressed a greater kinship with Trump's operation than Harris. Now, that's interesting. I wonder why. Let me know in the comment section specifically what you guys think about this right here. Nicole Shanahan, Kennedy's running mate, suggested in August that the campaign was mulling whether to stay in the race or, quote unquote, join, join forces with Donald Trump. So this is something that's been on the horizon for quite some time. It's definitely something that they've been considering. The problem with continuing the third party campaign, Shanahan explained, was that they run the risk of a Kamala Harris and Tim Walsh presidency because we draw somehow more votes from Trump. A leaked video in April had already shown a Kennedy campaign staffer calling President Joe Biden, the presumptive Democratic nominee at the time, the mutual enemy of Trump and Kennedy voters, which is interesting. OK. Suspicion about the Kennedy campaign working against the Democratic ticket grew significantly in July when another leaked video showed Trump telling Kennedy, I would love you to do something and i think it'll be so good for you and so big for you the washington post later reported that kennedy held talks with trump about possibly endorsing the republicans campaign and if he wins joining his administration trump in that video also said he agreed with kennedy who has spread debunked anti-juice claims for years about childhood juices critics have frequently accused both kennedy and shanahan the ex-wife of Google Plus founder Sergey Brin of trafficking in dangerous conspiracy theories, especially about the juice. Medical organizations overwhelmingly say childhood juice is safe. A 2024 World Health Organization study found that immunization efforts have saved over 100 million infant lives in the past century. They really they really get on the defensive anytime the juice is mentioned. <laughs> Running as an independent after withdrawing from the Democratic primary in late 2023, Kennedy campaigned as an alternative to the mainstream political binary. All right, and now we are here. He leaned heavily on his resume as an environmental lawyer and an activist presenting himself as a slayer of corporate giants and a voice for disillusioned voters across the political spectrum. His political stature may have been boosted by his surname. A scion of the Kennedy political dynasty, RFK Jr. is the son of former Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy and the nephew of former President John F. Kennedy, both of whom were assassinated. Kennedy's wild personal life also provided a steady stream of human interest that regularly thrust him back into the spotlight. In a recent interview with controversial comedian Roseanne Barr, Kennedy recounted how he had once planted a dead bear cub in Central Park, acquired during a falconry expedition north of New York City, and staged it to look like it had been struck by a cyclist. That story, which aligned with reports from 10 years earlier, came weeks after Kennedy reportedly apologized to a woman who had accused him of sexually assaulting her in the late 1990s. That same month, Kennedy stirred a backlash when he tweeted without being prompted that as presidents, I won't take sides on 9-11 <laughs> on or any of the other debates. Okay.
<laughs> so you know it's it's just it's just that thing it's just that time so rfk and trump team up how do you all think that this is gonna affect the race going forward let me know in the comment section also if you haven't subscribed to the channel take a moment hit that bell icon twice share the stream to your so social media and hit that like button and i will catch you all on the next video all right peace